Hello, Randall Monk and Rana Mazane here with another gem of wisdom. We're back. <laughs> uh, what are you looking at me for? <laughs> and you mean I'm on? <laughs> yeah, you're on. Okay, yes. we're going to continue from last time. You know, we're really doing this right after that. You know that because you can see I'm wearing the same thing. <laughs> this is for next month, all right? Uh. And uh, we're on a high. We're feeling good. We're getting so much new stuff, and, and, and it's exciting. And just this thrill, thrill of that connection of, of being in the attunement and knowing that we are doing what we're supposed to do. Oh, how we would love to have you feel that. Oh, how we would love to have you experience that. And when you get to that level, when you begin to feel that bliss and, bliss and joy and excitement, and you know you're protected and you're connected, and you are inspired, and what you're getting is of the highest wisdom that you are capable of bringing forth, which is uh, important to those people who are following you. It's, it's, uh, it is well worth everything you're doing. So the last time we talked about, about the uh, multiple levels of conscious awareness as you traverse the path of ascension. And so we talked about instinct and intellect. And imagination. So then comes intuition. And intuition begins when you are have begun to download uh, the your soul. See, we do not download our whole soul blueprint at once. It's too much. It's too much. Because it's 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 it, it takes into condition the level you are now and what you're going to have to accomplish to get back up to the level where you can begin to access your true fifth dimensional sacred triad, which is where you are supposed to be you know, before you went into this experiment. And so you need to be heart-centered and so begin to uh, tap into or use the all of that information or all of that uh, that energy that you got as you for the wood chakra and then the second chakra, like we talked about before, in like seven-year increments. And so you get to the soul, when you get to the heart center, and bring in that, begin to bring in that information, that is what you might say the bridge to the higher level. There's, there's seven, there's seven dimensional frequency levels, and the fourth one is like the mid-level, that's the passage, that's, that's a rite of passage, that's a big step forward, because that's, when you begin, you, you have healed, you've integrated the three lords, your chakras, your balance and harmonize those. They are spinning uh, appropriately in harmony. It's like seven different mind centers that have their own agenda and they're in conflict with them. They're all seeking uh, to, be, to, be, to be the boss hmm. and, and, and to control everything. And so they come into, they begin to come in harmony and work with each other which then begins to open or access or clear that rod of power, that etheric rod of light that comes from your sacred triad that goes all the way back up, weaves through that string theory of that cord that weaves through back to the Supreme Creator, believe it or not. And so as you begin to activate all that, you then enable those attributes, qualities, and virtues, and talents, with that level, and so then that time, by time, you begin to get some intuitive awareness. You begin to listen to the whispers of spirit. You begin to listen to your soul. We are here to experience and learn how to co-create, and and to learn what we have to remember what we have forgotten. The soul already knows. The soul does not need to learn. The soul is here to experience and to serve. That is the aim of the soul. The soul has that, that service impulse there that we have to activate if we truly want to embody our soul. And at each level, the universal laws become a little more profound, a little more deep, a little more informative, a little more complicated. It still integrates all the others as the basis, but it expands and grows the qualify the, the quality, the qualifying, and and the need to 
uh, integrate. And so we do have to not just have the knowledge, we have to go integrate. We have to see if that knowledge fits uh, our who we are and what we believe or what is our truth at the time. Don't listen to anybody until you run it through your heart monitor. And once you do that, if it is your truth and it does resonate with you, then you begin to integrate it. You begin to study it. You begin to seek to understand what that the, the nuggets of wisdom, the kernels of truth, and expand that into your universal law, which you might say hold on. And so then after that, you must begin to live it. You must be the example, and you must take action. First, you must teach or be the example, and then finally you can teach by words. And so many of you at the point that you've studied and you're integrating all of this, what are you doing with it? It must flow. You must keep it flowing. If you go, it has to come to you, through you. You take what you need, and then you radiate out the west. That is why we have taught the infinity breath, and then also breathing in light, breathing out love, and the world pyramid, and then the world silver pyramid, and going into your pyramid of light, go and, and dedicating uh, uh, some, of you, some of your wisdom, your love, to the world pyramid. It's all there, step by step. Why do you think, why do you think Archangel Michael, for the last 30 years, has, it's my life has been dedicated to bringing forth all of that information bit by bit, by piece, by piece, by piece. And that's what it's going to take if you're going to become a self-master, a self, a master of the, up to the fourth density, ready to become a master, a, an ascended master. Once you move into the, you will be a self-ascended master of the fourth level as you go into the fifth dimension. And we are getting more and more help from the higher dimensions, from the council and so on. I'm going to be talking a lot about that. I am also going to be uh, on my new web, on the website that is being changed now. There is going to be, there's going to be, it's going to have some other guest speakers. There's going to be some other people that will share their modalities. And there will be a section for a lot of the, the Barry Peterson put forth and, and, and the different videos that we have done will be there and that will be and you will go a lot of the books a lot of the, a lot of the examples a lot of the pictures are there but there will also be a paid subscribers area too where I will be giving the higher teachings and where there will be an energy exchange which the information I put out to you before that I was told I must do now if I'm to go forward I have to practice what I teach and so there must be an energy exchange for our work. There must be an energy exchange for what you are getting from other people. Even when you begin to get it through you, you must share it. There is an energy exchange that as you that, that you cannot keep it and stagnate. It has to flow through. And that is a definite universal law. And so now then, the intuition, you begin to get it information from your soul self, you're listening to the whispers of spirit. And as you go on from there, then as you, that column of light, as you build that, that antikarana, that rainbow bridge, that column of light that goes up to your sacred triad, you begin to get some inspired thoughts from there. You begin to, that over soul self, that unique private part of you will begin to interchange with it. That's why I say I, I'm I'm alone most of the time. No, I'm not quite alone as much. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people come and go on in that way. And, and, a, and a lot of beings of light. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm never lonely because mm. I'm never alone. Because now, with the with the inspiration, mm. inspired thought, uh, I'm tapping into my own sacred mind and I'm getting information from so I could try it. But also now I am getting illumined thought which is from the Cosmic Council of Light. Archangel Michael is overseeing it. Wal Kuhl, who is my master teacher, I am in communion with them 24 hours a day. I totally am living my mission 24 hours a day because I get it at night, downloads, and I get it in the daytime. And the difference is, like in the past, 
There's new things. After with Michael, after he would give me a message, I would have to read it sometime at the seminars. I'd have to study it for a while before I could memorize, before I could access it. Now, the information comes into my sacred mind. It connects with other, what other information it, that activates or enlightens, and I have it. I understand it, and I can teach it to you. And that's the way. I think I had four or five of these as I went along. I kept adding one to that <laughs> until now. What's that? That, that the uh, instinct, intellect, uh, imagination, I guess, uh, intuition, uh, yeah. uh, inspiration, and then finally yeah, I got the yeah, yeah. And so the illumined thought is that pure thought that is pure mind to mind. And you have the ability to tap in that too at whatever level you are. In your pyramid, there's a communication center there where you can go and set an in your meditation there in the pyramid as you begin to balance them in a hot and uh, come to center and begin to listen. That's, that's what meditation is, listening, listening or, or stilling the mind, stilling the monkey mind so you can begin the, the wonderful higher wisdom thoughts and they will be tailored just for you. And so, here again, uh, that's enough for this time, because Brandy's got a good story to tell you. And so we're going to we'll do some more. We'll continue on along in this vein. And then we're going to give you some options. And we're going to help you. And we're going to give you, like I say, offer you some options. And, and, and what we're doing is going to change just a little bit for our benefit and for your benefit. And it's up to you if you want to accept it and you want to, you want to keep going with us. Uh, but it's going to require it's going to require some work on your part, dedication, and uh, a willingness to become who you truly are. We want that for you so much, and we're here. Like Michael said, I'll guide, direct, inspire, and protect you. But you must walk the path, and you must do the work. Okay. All right. Well, um, let's see. Where do I start with this? Um, I guess I'll start at Yellowstone National Park because uh, Rana had an event that I attended in Yellowstone National Park and uh, there was a person there from the UK who had this idea to have this quest for mastery training and um, the, Rana was having a meeting and uh, she invited me and I thought why is she inviting me to this? meeting you know i'm just somebody attending this, this workshop and the seminar anyway uh this person held a five-day event in reno nevada and uh during this event in the beginning of the event he said i'm gonna he had this he had his flip chart his uh flip chart which he really loved the flip chart. He, he hugged it a few <coughs> times during the event. It was kind of neat. Uh, that was before PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he drew a U. Uh, and on on one side of the U, he said he put an X and says, "This is where you're starting. I'm going to take you down here to the bottom and take you up here. And, you know, lift you up to mm -hmm. here." Mm -hmm. And uh, he was a corporate trainer, maybe still is, I don't know. And um, he had us actually pointing out what we, every, the other person, which other people, there were maybe 12 or 15 of us there, were doing wrong, which went way, I mean, it went against my heart. Uh, I, I, it just didn't resonate with me. Anyway, then towards the end, now, uh, Ron had channeled the message from Archangel Michael, and this person said he was going to give each of us a message, a brief message from Michael, and um, let us know how we were doing. And to me, this was a very important thing to me. We didn't have to do, we could talk about anything we wanted. The, uh, the purpose of this workshop was to, to speak in front of people. It, that didn't, he didn't care what we talked about. And for me, I studied Rana's book, Scripting Your Destiny, and I, that's what I wanted to talk about. And so 
I uh, I would go to my room and practice, and anyway, it meant a lot to me. Let's put it that way. So then it, we got to the end, and he came. He comes to me, and we're sitting in the circle, and he he says, "Oops, so fat, I moved the camera there a little bit." He said, "Actually, you, you did. You got worse." And I thought, "Holy cow, I got worse. I'm probably practicing, and you know, this meant the world to me." And uh, and I'm devastated. And I got worse. <laughs> Then he comes to my message from Marco, Michael, and he tells me, uh, your message is very clear. I thought, well, what does that mean? I didn't I say that. I'm thinking that, though. What's that supposed to mean? Um, and uh, that was it. And so after we had dinner, I knew he was flying out the next morning. I said, is it okay if we talk? you know after dinner and he said sure and so i said what is what was what was that message from michael where he said uh you know your or your i think he said your agreement is very clear your agreement is very clear and he said well you came here to teach that's what you agreed to do uh, i'm thinking why didn't he just say that but i guess it had a lot more impact that way um and so then we, the, the last time we spoke, we, he let us speak one more time after that. And I'm up there, I'm frustrated, I'm kind of been deflated um, because of, of, you know, my feelings at that point. But, and I was, but a part of me was also determined at that point. So it, I had all these things, these emotional things going on with me. And I get up there and I'm pacing back and forth, pacing back and forth. And I said, you know, and I flipped up that flip chart. And I said, when we started, you said, you're going to start here and take us up over here. I said, this is where I am right now. And I drew a big X on the bottom. And uh, I was frustrated, uh, really frustrated. And I, and I remember saying also, you know, maybe this was a mistake. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. And I saw a motion in the back of the room. And I looked back there, and that's where Rana was sitting, and she's like this. <laughs> she's just nodding her head back and forth, or shaking her head, I guess you'd call it, whatever. Anyway, uh, then I'm heading home after the event, and uh, I get a message on my phone from Rana, that was a Blackberry, that tells you, that was a few years ago. <laughs> they don't have those anymore. Anyway, my the message on my Blackberry was a message from uh, Rana and Michael, and she said, Rana, you know, when Michael wanted me to give you this message, it was, it's time or something like that. And that's when she told me, or Michael told me, that I'm of Lord Melchizedek's lineage, and of course, tears are running down my cheek and everything. And, uh, and and actually that person ended up kind of falling out of the picture, and I ended up uh, facilitating Quest for Mastery. It's interesting how those things turn out. So that's my story. And you're stuck with it. <laughs> yeah, but, as I am. But isn't it a wonderful story? <laughs> isn't it? So you see, <clears throat> we're meant to be together. It isn't always easy. and. Uh, even that failure, that was that was that guy's problem. But he mirrored for him what he needed to hear to say, no, that's not my truth. That's not who I am. And he didn't take it as a defeat. And so you passed the test, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> so you see... Those are the kind of things we want you to understand. Because, yes, we're sitting up here, mm -hmm. and you think we're pretty special. Well, I've said this in my seminars, that, you know, we're blessed, and we're talented, mm -hmm. and we are unique and special. Yes, we are. But so are you. So are you. You have your own talents, attributes, and, and they're, they're waiting for you, and there are people mm -hmm. behind you, following you, waiting for you to be the example and to help them to understand at that level. And that's how it goes. We passed, we passed the wand 
of light to you. Now you take it, make it yours, use it, and pass it on. Okay? So when pass on our Zio, Zio, we've got to get that <laughs> sacred love out there. I'll send you love and kisses but, and hugs, but Zio, Zio. Till next time. Bye for now. Much love and many blessings from our hearts to yours.